Okay, I've tried this a couple times. We're going to try it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold the bobber against the edge of the ring and try to release it while imparting as little force as possible. We're going to see how long it swings just unhindered. So here we go. Fifteen seconds. Thirty seconds. And I mean, this is pretty standard to what my experience is just from playing and getting dangers and tilts and such. You can expect the bobber to swing from anywhere from a minute to three minutes, depending on the game. I feel like a lot of medieval bobbers swing for ages and ages, and if you do like small nudges, eventually you'll tilt because the swing just never dies. Um, we are at a full minute right now, and I'm just going to stop because that's enough to get my point across. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to let it swing, and then I'm going to start doing this technique I was talking about. You're going to hear some banging, and we're going to see the bobber stop a lot faster. Uh, so, let's see, I will let it go. You can see that's a pretty good swing. Uh, you know what, that stirred a lot, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it again. Let's see. That's better. And that bobber is almost dead stopped after about 15 seconds. Um, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same thing, but I'm going to stand up and show you what I'm doing. And then we'll come back and look at the bobber when it's stopped. And then we'll talk about it. Uh, there we go. That's swinging pretty good. And that bobber's pretty much stopped. Um, again, that took about 15 seconds. So, um, to, to replicate this for yourself, what I'm doing is I'm imagining where the bobber is, and I'm basically hitting the side rail, trying to send a force basically straight down through the bobber stick, is kind of what I'm thinking of while I'm hitting this. Um, I think this introduces a vertical vibration that basically causes the bobber hook to slightly separate from the ring it swings in and that dampens the swing. Um, so I'll just I'll show it one more time. There's, I'm doing this on my phone with my two hands. There's no video trickery going on here. Um, this is just something I figured out and it works. It's worked on multiple machines and I'll even, I'll let this go for a minute. You can see that it really is, it's swinging. Okay, and now we'll uh, come back up here. It's 10 seconds of that, and it's almost dead. And I bet you can, if you, I mean, if you do this for 15 seconds, it's about 50 strikes. You will, you will stop the barber completely dead. I mean, it's, it's stopped. So there it is. Uh, it works on any machine as long as you know where the barber lo is located, which on most machines is right in that same spot. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions.